I think we might be. Let's make sure everybody is connected. Everybody's on. Everybody can see. What up, people? Um, where's Instagram? It's got to be one of these. It's definitely Instagram. All right, turn off request to go live. <sighs> and I'll wait till I see one of my normal people that will have a chance to block holes left and right. What's up, people? Quit trying to go live with me on TikTok. Stop. All right? I don't want to go live with you on TikTok. Stop. <laughs> Quit trying it. Quit trying it. What's up, y'all? Um, making sure everybody could see me. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, that goes with somebody I normally see. Janelle is on there. We'll give Janelle the button today. What up, people? Y'all good? I hope so. I am as well. Happy, um, I don't know what today is. I guess it's Friday here. It's got to be Thursday night where you are. So happy Thursday to all of y'all. And I guess it would be appropriate to say I hope you had a great day. Seeing as though mine is just getting started, okay? All right, let's work out a cute cocktail. A cute, a cute little cocktail. I think I got another garnish over here. Hold on. You know I ain't got nothing set up properly, so deal with it. You know, I don't have nothing set up. Reminds me of being at home. Okay. Now I got the candy for the cocktail. Okay, hi every. What is with y'all? Why do y'all keep flipping down? Hold on one second. This thing got a mind of its own. What is this thing doing? It keep flipping y'all down. What are you doing? Okay, now it does stay. It's like it keep tipping the people over. You know, here's my cup. Tip me over and pour me out. That's what it was doing. Fresh raspberries need to go into a, um, you know, a cocktail shaker. And I'm going to add a little bit of sugar and with my raspberries. So these are fresh raspberries. You know, if you can find fresh, use the fresh ones. If you can't find fresh, you know, I guess frozen could work. You know, frozen might be okay, but there's something about this fresh that I think is just necessary. You know what I mean? All right, so I'm using the cocktail kit, the Darius Cooks cocktail kit. You can get it. Shop Darius Cooks. Hi, everybody. Okay, hi. Uh, everybody's coming on. Everybody wants to speak. I understand. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey. Okay? I miss you, too. Okay? Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Everybody's so excited. I love it. Okay. Um, shop DariusCooks.com. Bali 50. All right? 50% off while I'm live. If you need um, any of the goods, okay? All right, I have muddled the raspberries with the um, the raspberries with the sugar, and I do want to put in a little bit of lemon juice. So, if I was back in the United States, I would be using regular um, lemons, right? But since I'm not in the United States and I'm in Indonesia, I'm going to be using 
these Indonesian lines called Kalamansi. C-A-L-A-M-A-N-S-I, Kalamansi. They pretty much grow like wild here. They're everywhere. And they're so incredibly inexpensive, it's not even funny. I think you can get like 30 of these for like maybe a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe, maybe a dollar. But it's a cute, it's like a little key lime. And it has really great, like a florally citrusy note to it that I think is beautiful. So we're gonna add a little bit of that in here, okay? Yeah, Kalamon seems like speaking of tongue. Shut up. So churchy. And y'all, and y'all call, and y'all call me churchy. Let me get some ice. Hold on, y'all. The ice machine work with no problem. When y'all be here, the ice machine wanna cut up. It's every time. It's it's as if the ice machine has stage fright or something. When I'm by myself, the ice comes out with no problem. The moment I bring y'all in. The ice be like, I don't know what I wanna do, okay? I don't know what I wanna do, all right? And I'm just like, what is going on here? Okay. Now, I'm gonna add a touch of raspberry lemonade to bump up the raspberry flavor here. I do have a raspberry soda. I'm gonna finish with for a little fizz, but the liquor of choice shall be a touch of tequila because I want a beautiful raspberry lemonade margarita. And I felt like we should have a really good raspberry lemonade Margarita. I need some ice though for this. Hold on. I need some ice. Hold the line. I don't want to come out. I'm going to stay right here. Okay? I mean, I guess it would help if I put the right, the right lid on top of here. Hold on, y'all. You know how you be at the house and you be like, I'ma start cooking in a little bit. But when you gonna start? Girl, when I get all my stuff. All right. There we go. Okay. I'm going to top this with a little raspberry soda for a little fizz. And then you could garnish, I mean, you know, limes are cute. Couple of fresh raspberries are also cuties in here, you know. And then I found some little like raspberry um, candies. And I said, you know what's gonna be cute? A little raspberry candy bump in here. You know, just a little something to be like, oh, what's that floating in there? You'd be like, a little something that got a little tequila on it. 
We call it a flavor saver. Okay, look at that. Okay, we call it a flavor saver. A little salt and that's it. It's a little raspberry lemonade margarita. Hold on now. As if it's not already warm in here. I have all the doors open, so I cut the AC off. So, you know, if you see me perspire a little bit, just know I'm in 90 degree weather this morning, trying to purify myself, okay? I'll go for a dip in the pool in a little bit. Now, if this is your first, second, or third time joining us, first of all, let me say good morning to you. And let me say welcome, all right? We do realize it is not by any accident that you are here today, but it is by God's divine providence. We hope something is said or done that encourages you. This man on, hold on. This man on YouTube keeps saying gay, gay, gay. Sir, we know I'm gay. Watch this. Hide. Bye. <laughs> Simple. Uh, we hope something is said or done that encourages your heart and you can come back and join us again. Now, at this time, we do have impact agents coming from the rear of the sanctuary to hand you an information card. We ask that when you go around for offering, you put the information card in the offering basket. That way we may stay in contact with you. Why she almost gone? <laughs> the cocktails get better and better and better. <coughs> I don't know what it is, but they get better and better and better. Um, we also have a free gift for you tonight. It's in our east vestibule. Do not go to the west vestibule. That's the sign up for our seniors. It has come to our attention by our choir director, Tuan, that this past Easter Sunday, there were too many mothers with their wigs upside down and inside out. Therefore, Tuan and his lovely friend, they've been best friends for a long time, Maurice. Can y'all stand up? Look at them. they best friends, then they matching today in service. That's Tuan in the soprano section and Maurice in the alto section. Tuan and Maurice, best friends, have decided to give all the mothers who sign up a free makeover so that way next Easter Sunday, your wig will not be upside down and inside out. You can sign up over there with Tuan and Maurice. Let us welcome you. Let the foodie in me. Love the foodie in you. Let the foodie in me. Love the foodie in you. Cause you're easy. Mm, 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 mm. You're easy. You're easy. Bop, 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 bop. Easy to love. You may be seated in his presence. Raspberry lemonade margaritas are an entire vibe okay okay this is what we gonna do we got a little work to do today and i did not come to play with you okay so let me grab my cookbook and let me grab my chicken and i want you to turn your bibles to page 97 we are cooking out of eat rich or fry triumph 
If you do not have this book, you can get this book at shopdariuscooks.com, okay? The discount code is the word BALI50. It will save you 50% on the cookbook the, and the air fryer bundle if that's what you so desire. <coughs> These have been your church announcements. Please govern yourselves accordingly. The next speaking voice you will hear will be that of our illustrious pastor. Ain't that what they be saying? My name is Darius Cooks. I have been your church announcer. Jesus Christ is our Lord. Okay, cilantro lime chicken breast. We're going to make a marinade. Excuse me. Okay, let's make a marinade. Real fast. Come on. Get you a bowl like this. See, this is a bowl. This is a bowl. Just churchy. These have been your church announcements. Please, ma'am, please, sir, govern yourselves accordingly. You can stop by the sound booth to pick up your tape on the way home. We need some olive oil first. Okay, let's grab some olive oil. Well, you know, where is the olive oil? Oh, over here. Okay, we need olive oil first. We're going to put some olive oil in the book. We're making a marinade. Okay, marinade. Olive oil. That's what the book say. Then the book say we need some lime juice. Guess what I got? I got limes, babe. I got limes. If you see me perspiring, don't worry about it. Okay? I'm perspi I cut the air off. I want to perspire because I want to go and soak in the pool. And I want to be really, really hot to get in the pool. So I got the windows, the doors open. And, you know, I'm really doing a tropical vibe today. I'm not going out today. I'm going to sit around and relax a little bit. Okay, and take a load off because you know, life be life, in, and I ain't really got no complaints over here. So, I think today will be a nice pool day. You know, what you doing today? You know, I might make me some uh, cute little sandwiches and make me a little cocktail and go and sit over there on the it's a beautiful pool over there. Y'all want to see it? I don't know if I can show you because um, it's all these cameras, but it's right there. And I think, you know, I'm going to have me a little chicken, a little rice, a little corn, a little margarita, and I'm going to put on some Anita Baker. Operator. Get my baby on the line. Cause just the other night, I had a horrible fight. I admit that I, I was a out of control. But I still love my man. With what? With all my, ain't got no man to first. But I still love my man. <laughs> With all my body and soul. Oh. Okay, we need some garlic. The road gets rough. You say things you should not say. What she said? That's real music right there, boy. I never meant to treat my baby that way. I apologize. Okay, we need some garlic. Come on. You know, they don't make good music like this. I'll be looking at the stuff on like the shade room and stuff. And they be having these new people. Go, go Gorilla. What's her name? Gorilla. And uh B 
Beautiful Red. What are they in there? Gorilla and Beautiful Red. They say Red from St. Louis. Beautiful Red from St. Louis. I don't know where Gorilla from. I don't know what church she goes to. I don't know where. I don't know where her people come from. But they got Gorilla and Sexy Red. I don't know none of these people. Oh, I don't know what they're saying. Beautiful Red and Gorilla. I don't know none of these songs. You know, if it ain't Luther Vandross, love has truly been good to me. I did learn that, um, you know what song I did learn? I did learn, um, nobody twin, where have you been? I learned that. You know how I learned that song? I don't even know who sang that. I think they said her name is Dollar Short or something like that. What the girl name is? Dollar Short. Okay, we need some salt and pepper in this. Okay, so this is lime juice, olive oil, garlic. I got a little salt. This is sea salt, so this is real good for you, okay? Black pepper. I got some of that. Don't forget, if there's anything you need from my online store, you can go to shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code is the word BALI50 at checkout, okay? BALI50 at checkout. Okay, salt, pepper. I need some cumin. I, brought, I bought cumin today because I said I know I was going to need some cumin. So you know what I did? I picked some up from the supermarket. What her name is? Uh, currency short. What her name? She said, nobody loves you like I do. Something like that. It sounds very churchy. I, for a minute, I thought it was a gospel number. I almost caught the Holy Ghost. But I threw it back when I realized she wasn't talking about the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, I almost caught the Holy Ghost. But I threw it back when I realized this, she ain't even talking about Jesus in this song. She don't know him. In the pardon of her sins. Girl, this is chili powder. This is not what I needed. Hold on one second. I said cumin, not chili powder. This cumin. Okay. No, because I like to have an open mind. You know, I like to have an open mind when it comes to the young people's music. You know, it's not stuff that I would particularly, because you know, I'm a da na da na na na. Oh my love, a million. My, that's what I like. See, I like that, huh? I like. Let me hold you tight. If only for one night. See, I like that. See, okay, this is a little cumin and a little red pepper flake for a little spice. See, that's the kind of stuff I like. They don't sing that kind of music. You know, these days. I don't know what the stuff they're saying. Now, I did see, why y'all don't like Chris Brown no more? Y'all, Chris Brown, y'all done took Chris Brown off the, uh, he supposed to be at the Dream, what is it called? The Dream Fest. This what happen when you, <laughs> this, what, <laughs> this what happen when you 40, when you 40 plus and you watches, and you watches the Shade Room on Instagram. You don't know what the hell going on. Half that stuff they talk about in the shade room, I do not know what the hell they talking about. But I comment like I know what's going on. Don't know nothing. Huh? We'll comment like I know what's going on. Girl, I can't believe. You know what happened? They said, um, what's his name? <laughs> Question the rapper. They said he, um, Divorcing his wife. But they said they had posted a picture and they said probably because he was all hunched up on this other girl and they got a picture. 
Chance got his hand on her back. She got her her end on his pelvis, all in the picture. Girl, do that in private. Don't do that in front of everybody where everybody gonna be able to see you. You gotta do it in private. Now listen, this is what I say. And I don't care what y'all, this is what I say. I don't care what you think. Ain't no way you gonna pose for that picture if you don't wanna get caught. Hello? I don't care how you slice it or dice it. Ain't no way you telling me. Question the rapper with the number three on his forehead. Gonna pose for that picture with that girl like this and his hand like this. Oh, you wanna get caught, doc. And you and you chance the rapper? Oh, you wanna get caught. I don't know why his name Chance the Rapper to begin with, if you ask me. I do not know why his name is Chance the Rapper, if you ask me. Because he can't sing, so it ain't Chance the Singer. He can't dance, it ain't Chance the Dancer. Ain't no other choice but to be Chance the Rapper, okay? Now, these chicken breasts that I had cleaned off, and so I'm gonna take this really delicious marinade with the with the um the lime, the garlic, you know, all the things. See, all the things we're gonna marinate this um this chicken and all of this the stuff. Now put this to the side and then come back to this a little bit later, okay? Wash your hands good. You're chicken. Some of you playing worse and you don't wash your hands, so clean your hands. Now, if you need anything from the online store, like my lovely Darius Cook's knife collection. This is the chef knife. I also have the Santuco knife, okay. I also have the girl line. This the Santuco. I must have two chef knives. I do. You should buy two chef knives too. This is the serrated knife and this is the parry knife. All of these you can get. ShopDariusCooks.com. Discount code Bali40 while we're live. We'll ship it to your front door, okay? Do that at checkout. All right, hold on, y'all. Let me, um... Let's get the oven on. The hardest thing is trying to get Celsius to Fahrenheit, okay? I think 100 and something is... I still don't even know. I don't even know. I'm still trying to figure this whole oven thing out. Meanwhile, let's cook some rice, okay? I think we should make a little, a little rice, don't you think? Now let me show you how this rice comes. This is very different rice than any rice you have seen in the United States. This is organic, I'm so excited to eat this, fragrant rice, it's one kilogram. Let me tell you what your guess is. As good as mine, okay? It is from Mount Merapi. That sound holy, huh? You gotta give God some praise from, for this. You have to give God a little praise for Mount Merapi. I don't know where it's set, but it's not like God rests, rules, and abides there, huh? In central Java. Look at this rice. This some rice here, ain't it? This is some rice here, ain't it? Huh? This somebody's mountain. Huh? Where you gonna find him? He shall hide me. 
Where? Upon a rock of stone. But before we make this rice, we got to season up this oil for this rice. Because we can't make no regular rice. Okay? We have to make some anointed, some anointed rice. So we're going to make real good, okay? And you know what I did? Because I said, if I'm going to make some rice, we got to have a stock. So the other day, I made some chicken stock while I'm down here, okay? And I made my own chicken stock, and I froze my own chicken stock, okay? So what I'm going to do is take my chicken stock that I froze and I made, and I'm going to melt this down. Because this chicken stock is going to be the stock that's going to season up. My rice. You see, I, I didn't find no chicken bouillon and all that. You see, I, I found something that said chicken powder, but I don't know how good it is. I know that's good. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not going to be down here in these people country and can't make no good food. Huh? I ain't heard what you said. I'm not going to be down here in these people country and can't make no good food. Huh? Huh? What I'm going to do? Make me some stock from scratch. I can make cornbread dressing. I can make shrimp and grits. I can make a pot of rice. I can make whatever I want to make with that stock because that stock has yet the Holy Ghost. Huh? Now, if you want the Holy Ghost too, you can get it <laughs> by going to shopdariuscooks.com and the discount code is the word BALI50 at checkout. BALI50 will save you 50% while I'm live. Now look, I went to the store, right? And I seen this. Now, okay, let's just get something straight one second. You fat and I'm fat, okay? And unless you not Muslim, Unless you, you you Muslim, we normally like these, okay? These look like pork skins, don't they? Like cracklers or pork skins. And so I said to myself, Darius, we should buy these and see what these taste like. Because these might be amazing. The only problem is we can't read what the hell they say in English. It says... Krupuk Babi Klut Rejeki Inak Guri and Tampa Bahan Pingawet. If I'm not speaking in tongues, I don't know what I'm doing. Huh? If you don't, if you are not freed by the reading of this package. If you are still yet somewhere stuck in bondage, that's on you. Because the word is free flowing. We don't know what the hell it's saying, but the word is yet free flowing through this place, huh? See, if I were you, I would get what you need tonight, huh? Oh, they smell funny. Hold on, they smell a little. Hold on now. It ain't really got a whole lot of seasoning. Let me see. Mm. It's light skin. The seasoning is very light skin. It is. The seasoning is very, very light skin. It's all right. You ain't got to, you ain't got to buy them. It's all right. It's okay. Babe, this is, I need another one of these. Girl, this is amazing. This was amazing. You were at house on, great, no Louisiana down here? 
Ain't no Louisiana. Ain't no crystals. But you know what I did find? Sweet Baby Ray's and Open Pit. Sure did. I found both Sweet Baby Ray's and Open Pit. Now I said, what in the world are Sweet Baby Ray's doing in Indonesia? And you know, I grew up on Open Pit, so Open Pit is one that I happen to love a lot. Okay, do a little mince, or a little dice rather, on some onion, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat this skillet with we just need regular cooking oil. You don't need no olive oil. We need regular oil. This is what they all look like. Sunco. Okay? This is a two liter bottle of Sunco oil. Deal with it. Okay? This is they cooking oil down here in Indonesia. You see the bottle? You see how it look? This they stuff. Okay. Throw these onions in here. And let's start getting a little, a little flavor going, all right? Then we're going to throw in some, uh, we're going to throw in some of this garlic. Because you really can't have, I mean, you could, but you don't want to do one without the other. You know, it's like gin with no juice. Yeah, it doesn't really hit the same way. You know, it's like peanut butter with no jelly. It's like intercourse with no climax. Who wants to do that? If I wanted to practice, I could do it by myself, okay? What are you here for? You see where I'm going with this, right? Do you really need it? You don't really need it. But does it make the experience so much more worthwhile? The answer is yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's like karma with Darius. Ugh. You know, I got out of that group. I don't fool with her no more. They have that hate group they got. They got a hate group against Carmen, y'all. Well, they got a hate group against me, too. But they gonna spin themselves crazy. I be, I have a hate group. It's called Darius. It's a couple of them, but it's one called Darius Cook Scam Me. I be looking at stuff they post. I go, I did? I did that? When did I do that? It be shocking to me. Some of the stuff they say I did. I'll be like, when did I do that? I don't even remember doing that. Okay, we're gonna saute the onion and the garlic a little bit, okay? Now this is my first time cooking this kind of rice. But I'ma assume rice is gonna be like rice. So you know we do a one to two ratio. Uh, one part rice, two part liquid. So whether you do a cup of rice, two cups of liquid, whatever, it's up to you, okay? So I'm gonna eyeball my, my one part of rice. They're about a cup and a half, they're like, okay? Don't ask me what kind of rice this is. I, I didn't have no riceland rice, no, I, I look for long grain. I didn't see that, okay? I look for all of it. I couldn't find it, that's what they had, okay? So this is what you're gonna deal with. All right. Now, you want to toast your rice in this oil, okay? Now, I am going to add a little seasoning. Some um, red pepper flake for a little bit of spice, a little bit of personality. 
okay? A little bit of ground cumin in the rice for a little bit of that Latin flair, okay? And then this is a little bit of chili powder. I'm gonna add just a little touch of that for a little personality, okay? The reason I'm adding this in now is because I want the spices to toast. The spices are gonna toast, they're gonna develop flavor, right? That developed flavor is going to do one thing and one thing only, and that's make the rice taste even better than what it tastes, all right? They have this called chicken powder. It ain't the same as chicken, it's like a, a watered down chicken bouillon. But I'm still gonna add a little bit because it's gonna help add flavor to to our stuff, all right? All right, you wanna give this a mix, but listen, you want to watch this. This is not the time to go answer the phone. This is not the time to be browsing the shade room. This is not the time to be trying to figure out R-S-T-L-N-E, -E, all right? The something something of the something. This ain't that time, all right? Put that on pause. Because by the time you figure out what that puzzle is, your food is gonna be burnt, okay? And don't forget, if there's anything you need from the online store, you can go to shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code is the word BALI50 to save 50% at checkout, okay? BALI50. Okay, as soon as the rice is toasted, like this, you see that color of that rice? You see the color of this rice is not burnt, it's toasted. I am not drunk, I'm toasted. No, the rice is toasted, okay? All right, see that? Okay, now we're gonna put our stock in here, like this here, see? That's what you want, okay? You want that violent boil, that rapid boil. What'll happen is now that's gonna cool off a little bit and it's gonna start to cook the rice. The rice is gonna cook and be beautiful and perfect and lovely and amazing. And all the things, okay? If you just joined, I'm having raspberry Margaritas. I'm gonna have another one in a second. I'm gonna show you how to make it. Just calm down. I've marinated some chicken breast. This chicken breast is marinating in olive oil, lime juice, garlic, salt, pepper, cumin, and red pepper flake. Okay. My oven's also preheated to uh, 300, no, 400 degrees because. After I sear these, I'll throw them in the oven for just a few minutes to finish cooking through. I'm gonna serve those with this uh, cilantro lime rice that we're gonna cook up, but I said, we need a little side dish. Rice and chicken is good, but it's not enough. I have a solution, stay tuned. I got a solution. And I'm gonna tell you what it involves as soon as I make this next cocktail. Huh? As soon as I make this next cocktail. Oh, by the way, if you're worried about the recipe and like, well, Darius, what are you, where's the recipe for the, for the, uh, the chicken? It's on page 97, all right? So I'm cooking out of uh, Eat Rich or Fry Trying. It's my air fryer cookbook. This can go in the oven or you could do it in the air fryer, okay? I would use my air fryer, but the adapter don't work, all right? You know, they got, they got different plugs and stuff over here, and so, girl, it don't work, okay? Deal with it, all right? All right, let's make another cocktail. To do that, I'm gonna add some fresh 
raspberries to the bottom of my, um, oh, the air conditioning. I have it off because today's going to be a pool day for me. And, okay, let me explain this once and for all. And if you have never had bariatric surgery, you are not going to understand what I'm going to tell you. Okay? Hear me out. I hate the cold. I can't get in the shower unless the bathroom is hot. When I walk into a hotel room, my hotel room cannot be cold. When I get out of the shower, I cannot go into air conditioning. It needs to be hot when I go into it, okay? I get super cold really fast. Nothing's wrong with my iron. My iron is fine. That's also why when you see me on the airplane, I always have either a jacket or a sweater on because it's freezing to me. I never wear shorts on an airplane because I'm always too cold. I'm going to get in the pool. When I get out of the pool and come back into the house, if the air conditioning is on, it's going to be too cold, right? And so I'm going to be like, no, 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 no. I don't want it. So I wanted the house to get hot down here. So when I come out of the pool and come back in the house and work and do homework or whatever the case may be, I'm room temperature, I'm not cold. Make sense? Okay, and again, if you have never had weight loss surgery, you're not going to understand. But anybody who has had weight loss surgery, you understand that even though our iron is fine, we are always cold. Make sense? Okay, got it. Again, if you've never had weight loss surgery, you don't understand this, okay? But if you have ever had bariatric surgery, then you know you are always cold. Always, always, always. So even though it's like 90 degrees outside, I don't want to get out of a pool wet and then come into a cold house. Now, the air conditioning is on upstairs, okay? But it's not on in the main room because I just don't want to get, you know, I don't want to be cold on my pool day, all right? Thank you. Appreciate it, all right? All right, we're muddling raspberries and sugar together. Look at this rice. Look at the color on this rice, right? from like the seasonings and you, do you see this? Look at that. Do you see that? Thank you. Okay, let me grab some ice. surgery you're like yep Darius I get it I understand exactly what you're saying I'm always cold too it always happens to me too I can't seem to warm up you know I'm usually on the plane freezing and it only happened one time where I was so cold that I was like never again I was on a southwest flight and uh, I was leaving Texas and it was so so hot outside. I got on that Southwest plane. Baby, we got up into that air at the right cruising altitude. I couldn't take it. I had to get blankets from Southwest. It was so cold. I couldn't take it. I couldn't, there's no, I couldn't take it. I was like, please, I need something. They gave me two aprons and two blankets to warm up. I feel like only my people who had true authentic weight loss surgery, you fully understand my plight, you fully understand what I'm going through, okay? It's like having the change without having the change. 
It's tough, man. But look how I look. Thank you. All right, don't forget anything you need from my online store, 50% off while I'm live. Shop DariusCooks.com. And the discount code is the word BALI50 at checkout. All right, BALI50 at checkout. Shop Darius Cooks. Dot com. Cheers. Mm. All right. My rice, the liquid is cooked out. I'm going to put it on the side and let it hang out. But while that's hanging out, I'm going to tell you what I said. I said, there he is. We need a side dish. I don't know why this tastes this damn good. Oh, so this is my new favorite. The honey melon lemonade that we made. That's good, too. This is probably my new favorite. This is the raspberry lemonade margarita. She's smooth. She's smooth, Doc. Okay, let's make a little side dish. Okay. And I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this side dish with a little, we can do a little saute, like a little saute Mexican street corn, can't we? That's what I said. I said, Darius. This is what we could make. We could do a little, a little street corn saute, little cilantro, a little mayo. I don't have cotija, but I got feta. I said, we could do this and it's gonna be good. And let me tell you what kind of mayonnaise I got. That Japanese mayo. I'm in Asia. I should get Japanese mayo. And ain't no way this is gonna be bad, dog. Huh? Ain't no way this is going to be bad. You can't tell me with all these fresh ingredients this is going to be bad. <laughs> I will tell you one thing I said to myself. One thing I said to myself as I was at the supermarket, I said, you know what? All these goddamn supermarkets the same. Even here, the avocados are not ripe, okay? Even here, the dang on avocados are not ripe. I said, come on, y'all. What if I wanted guacamole today? Not tomorrow. Not next week. I want guacamole now. You can forget it. They don't have it. All right, what they do have, that's all you get. That's it. I said, come on now. The least y'all could do is make the stuff. Oh, my skillet getting hot. Hold on. This is for my chicken, okay? Come on, I want a hot pan. I'm going to add me a little oil to this skillet. And I'm going to put this chicken breast in here like this. Let me show you. See that? That's hot. Oh, this is a Darius Cooks Everyday Skillet. If you need one, you can go to shopdariuscooks.com. They 50% off. The discount code is the word BALI50 at checkout. Representatives are standing by to take your order. You can pay with Visa, American Express, Discover, or MasterCard, or You could buy now. You could buy now and pay later. Only at shopdariuscooks.com. Hold on one second, Instagram. Y'all freeze them.
Put the chicken in the pan. We're going to stop. Oh, Lord. It smells. The moment it hits the oil, the garlic, the citrus, all in the air. We're going to cook it on one side until it's seared. Then we're going to flip it. We're only going to flip it one time. Now, we're going to check it a couple times. But we're going to go flip it one time, okay? We're going to flip it once, but we're going to check it a couple times. Then it's looking good. So the roadmap for the chicken, very simple. Boom, 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 here. Oven is already preheated. We cook it on one side till it's the desired look, you know, golden brown. Then we flip it, get it golden on side number two, okay? And then into the oven. Now, the reason you wanna check it, if you're using the everyday skillet like I'm using, it conducts heat like nobody's business, okay? This is like, this skillet is better than a cast iron skillet when it comes to sauteing and the whole bit. If you have the skillet and you've used it, can you please just in the comment section just say, he's right, all right? Everybody who has this skillet always says that this is now their favorite skillet. The way it sautés, the way it cooks, the way it browns food, it is a beautiful skillet, all right? Everybody, y'all see the comments. The people who have the skillet and they've used it, they're telling you he's right, all right? We have, I have shipped at this point over 100,000 of these skillets, all right? At this point, over 100,000 of these skillets, all right? Here's what I mean. You don't have to believe what I'm saying, but believe what I'm showing you. Believe what I'm showing you, okay? This is the best skillet you will ever own in your entire life, and you can only get this skillet at one place ShopDariusCooks.com. It's 50% off right now. Just go to ShopDariusCooks.com. The discount code is the word BALI50 at checkout, okay? All right, right into a hot oven she goes. And boom, we're good, all right? Simple. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All right. Yeah, you, if, you, if you have one skillet, the regret is that you don't have two. If you have two, the regret that you don't have three, okay? I literally use this skillet every single day. It is the first thing I go to. I wish I would have brought two more with me, but when I come back in May, I will have about three more with me. All right. The people in the comment section have, um, they've warned you, okay? It's a good skillet. You know what else is good? Okay, and I'm not just saying this to toot my, home, my own horn, but I'm sort of saying this to toot my own horn. The knife, the Santuco knife, or the Darius Cook's chef knife. These are the best knives you will ever own in your life. And don't fret, all of us, including myself, have cut ourselves using this knife. It is okay. It is not on purpose, it is on accident, but that is how good um, these knives are. These knives are so good that they are sharp, you don't need to sharpen them often. 
And literally, it is one of the best tools you will ever have in the kitchen. Hold on, y'all. One second. Verify to continue. I've been inactive on, um, I was inactive a lot on uh, TikTok. Okay, so the knives also are like beautiful and amazing. I'm not going to sell you no BS. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to sell you something, it's going to be amazing. Okay, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to use it on live. Now, hold on. Let me get this corn up because I done wasted a little piece of a serving of corn. And I'm going to eat this, huh? As I lounge today by the pool. Today is nothing but lounging by the pool and doing edits and practicing piano. Thank you. Okay, so to make my Mexican street corn that's gonna go with my um, chicken and rice. So if you're just joining, now do you see the thing? We're having raspberry uh, lemonade margaritas. Those are being paired with a cilantro lime chicken breast. That's being paired with a lovely, beautiful um, cilantro lime rice. And we're gonna make a little Mexican street corn. You see where we're going? This recipe is in Eat Rich or Fry Trying. You can get it, it's also shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code, Bali50, only while I'm live at checkout, okay? All right, street corn time. Let's do some onion. Let's do some onion. Let's do that. Let's saute a little onion. And let's do that in a little bit of oil. A little saute. Nothing's gonna be wrong with this. Okay, a little saute. I'm gonna do half though. Can I do half oil? And can I do half butter? Oil so it doesn't burn, butter for the caramelization factor, the flavor factor, okay? So I'm gonna do butter and oil like this, right? And I'm gonna put the onion in now because I want the onion to start to turn super sweet, release its flavor, its juice, and the whole bit, okay? Now, if I'm gonna use onion, I'm gonna also use garlic, but I'm gonna show you the garlic I got for this. It's a different kind of garlic that they have here. Okay? They have something called sunrise garlic, and I have fallen in love with their, now they do have regular garlic too, but they have this sunrise garlic and let me show you what this looks like. So sunrise garlic looks like it could be a little shallot. Look at that. Wait, I'm dropping one. Hold on. <laughs> like a little, a little shallot. Look at that. You see that? They have lots of garlic here. Like lots of types of garlic. But this is like a, it's called sunrise. And it looks like a little shallot, kind of, right? But then watch this. When you peel the skin back, like you do regular garlic, look at this. It's one whole, it's one whole clove, right? Look at that. It's one whole clove. Look at that. This is what they have here in Indonesia, right? It's crazy. Like, the chicken is not huge. 
You know, it's not that Purdue chicken that has like, you know what I mean? It's not that. It's just like the way stuff is supposed to be. Even like, um, like you can't get granulated garlic in, um, I'm sorry, granulated sugar in Bali. Oh, this one's no good. That one's spoiled. Granulated sugar, they don't have that. They have sugar, but it's like natural sugar. It's not sugar that's been refined and processed. Like domino sugar, they don't have that here, right? So you can't find even their, their cereal, their Fruit Loops cereal. Their Fruit Loops cereal has no artificial ingredients, no artificial dyes, no preservatives. I'm like, oh my God. Now, I don't know how it tastes, but I can tell you what they don't have, okay? So, two cloves of garlic in. And I'm just frying up some onion and garlic in the butter oil. And then I'm going to add in this corn. And this is fresh corn straight off the cob. All right, the only way you need to be eating it. Just like that, look at that. Beautiful. Let's check the oven. We have chicken in the oven. Yeah, they have Fruit Loops, real Fruit Loops. Kellogg's Fruit Loops are here. Mm -hmm. Kellogg's Fruit Loops, look what I got today. Speaking of, Look what I got today. Speaking of what they have, I got flaming Hot Ruffles and always in stock, Yellow Meat Watermelon. Every day, all day. Okay? What a, what a diet. Right? I got white, uh, Yellow Meat Watermelon and flaming Hot Ruffles. Okay? They have stuff. They got stuff. Now, I will tell you, the stuff that's imported is very expensive. So, a bag of potato chips, that would be what? $2.99 at Kroger, Publix, or CVS? It's $8 here. Okay? $8 here. Look at my chicken breast. I'm gonna let them go for a few more minutes, okay? A few more minutes, I'll let those go. If you think that's expensive, Hagen dazs ice cream. Hagen dazs ice cream. One pint of ice cream. Hagen dazs imported. 21 US dollars. Twenty-one U.S. dollars for Hagen Dazs ice cream. Now that's crazy. I almost paid. Almost. Almost. All right, I'm gonna cut my. Uh, street corn down a little bit so we can start to caramelize and get those sugars out. Um, I'm going to add some tomato to mine. Normally you wouldn't, but I have tomatoes here. I need to use them up, so I'm going to add some tomatoes to my street corn. All right, just diced tomato. Look at that. Right in here. Okay. Now let's add some more good stuff to our street corn. 
including some fresh coriander. It's not called cilantro here. It's called coriander, okay? Fresh coriander. That's what it's called, all right? Fresh coriander. Plus, you know, we're down here with a lot of like Australians and New Zealanders and whatnot, so. This is what it's called. It's called coriander, okay? All right, I can cut my heat off and let's season this, because right now we've not done that. So I'm gonna season this with the slightest touch of salt, a little bit of black pepper, I also have a little bit of chili powder, which is what I, which is really why I bought it. A little bit of cumin. All right, I'm gonna stir that together. So this looks good just like this. Like I could eat this just like this, but I'm gonna make it a little bit better. All right. I've got a little bit sour cream. I want to mix the sour cream in with the corn and all the seasonings to make it creamy, just like this. See that? So it's turned beautiful, creamy, and lovely, all right? Now, here's what I want to do. I want to add in some mayonnaise. This is that beautiful, Japanese mayonnaise, which is, you need this. If you're gonna do Mexican street corn, there's no way of getting around this, okay? On top of that, I'm gonna do some salty feta. You could do cotija. Cotija is like the Latin version of feta cheese and it's beautiful and lovely, but unfortunately I am in Indonesia where, you know, listen, they don't have that, all right? So feta is going to have to work because they have that and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be okay. It'll be perfect. It'll be beautiful. Okay. Now to top this off, I have a little spring onion situation. Okay. Spring onion, scallion, whatever you call it. I wanna cut off the ends and just do a little, a little slice, right? On some spring onion. And I'll put the spring onions sort of all over on top like that and then the piece de resistance for me for this has to be some smoked paprika okay there's no way we can do this without smoke now you could do anything you could do uh chili powder if you wanted to but I just happen to be free. Okay, I was trying to pour it out this thing, but it don't seem to want to work. So steady hand. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Beautiful, lovely Mexican street corn that's been sauteed. All right. Now, if you got bad teeth, you ain't got to fuck up your teeth trying to eat no corn. Because you can just do it right here. You see what I'm saying? Now, the only thing this is missing is a little bacon. That's it. If I had a little piece of bacon on top of this, that's the only thing I would be missing. But I don't have none. Okay? I wish I did, but I don't. <laughs> All right, let's hit... Uh... Let's hit... 
Let's hit this with some fresh lime. This is the, the rice, right? That we made, this beautiful, lovely, sort of Spanish style rice that we made with all of the aromatics and all of the seasonings and all of the love that we put into this. Don't forget, if there's anything you need from the online store, pot, pan, skillet, we're cooking out of Eat Rich or Fry Trying. It's my pre or my air fryer cookbook. You can get the air fryer and the cookbook, either or. Shop DariusCooks.com. The discount code is the word BALI50 at checkout. It's going to save you 50% for a few more minutes while I'm live, all right? All right, fresh squeezed Indonesian lime over the rice. And then I'm going to fluff it with this fork. I like to add the lime at the end because what it does is it gives a bump of flavor. If you put it in at the beginning, it just becomes, in my opinion, a little muted. Look at that. Ugh. Ugh. Look at that. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Huh? Oh, just a little, a little more of our cilantro. We'll just tear it ever so gently and just place a little cilantro right in here like this, see? And we'll just give that a little bit of a mix. Now, that chicken has been done. Okay. And I'm cooking this in my cast iron skillet, or not my cast iron, my everyday skillet. Okay. This is in my Darius Cook's everyday skillet. And she's ready to go. All right. She's ready to go. She's ready to slice, dice, Whatever you want to do. Great for meal prep as well. Like fantastic for meal prep. Okay. All right. Let's fix ourselves a bit of a plate. Okay. And see what we got going on around here. To do that, we'll start with some rice, some arroz. So let's do a serving of rice. This beautiful cilantro lime situation. All right, and then let's take a chicken breast. Look at the underside of the chicken breast. You see that caramelization? You only get that from the Darius Cook's everyday skillet. I'm sorry, okay? You only get this from the Darius Cook's everyday skillet, which you can only get at shopdariuscooks.com, okay? Discount code. Bali 50 to save 50% woo, at checkout. Okay? Bali 50, 50% at checkout. It's, it, was, it was hot. <laughs> it's hot, as you can see. It's still smoking. Okay? Wait, let me push this down, make it look halfway decent. It's still smoking. That's why it was hot. Okay, shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code is BALI50 to save 50%. Okay, and then, come on now. Hello, don't she look good? Don't that look good? Don't she want some? How y'all doing? Y'all doing good? It's Freddie G. Eating good. With Freddie G. Don't you love her? Eating good with Freddie G. I love her. Cilantro, lime rice, cilantro, lime chicken, Mexican street corn that's been sauteed. 
If you need anything from the online store, you got about 10 minutes. Shop DariusCooks.com. The discount code is the word BALI50 at checkout. All you got to do is bow your head and say grace. Grace. Let me see. Let me see. Mm. 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 Baby. The rice alone is worthy of the praise. Every flavor comes shining through this rice. Every cumin chili powder, all of it, is beautiful and fragrant mm, and lovely. No, you can't have none. Go away. The bird was asking for some. The chicken. Mmm. Hold on one second. Why is this so good? Why is this amazing? Why is this chicken amazing? Oh, God. And then I'm using the Darius Cooks flatware set. It's gold. This on sale too, 50% on. ShopDariusCooks.com. The discount code is the word Bali50 at checkout. Mm. Oh my God, y'all. Mm. The corn is so sweet, so floral, so amazing. Uh, listen. You can only find recipes like this one place. The Darius Cook Plus app. You can get it at the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Okay? Listen. Two things I want to tell you. Like I always do. Food is my life. Life is my food. Until next time. Tomorrow. I want to wish you a happy cooking from my heart to yours. Cheers. Bye, y'all. Mm. Woo! This is delicious. And I mean something tasty.